Good morning, folks. Thursday. The last few days left of July 2021. This is a update to yesterday's video about POTUS 46 saber rattling. You know, folks, if you want to start a war with somebody, why not make them look like the adversary you want it to be? You know, the folks there in the Far East would do nothing but to have us go to war with Russia and then help them out while you go broke. Now, for all you folks out there who are my age or a little older, remember Korea. That was a police action. World War II was done. Spoils of war were being split up. Russia got East Germany, the Allies got West Germany, China gobbled up as much as China could gobble up while the United Nations was being formed, countries were being recognized, and everything started to go from there. For the United States, it was a boom, baby boom. People out there celebrating like you and me, that's why I'm here. <laughs> But things got a little difficult when the Chinese were pushing out and got a little pushed back from the South Koreans because they didn't want to be communists. They had already seen the Western style and were adapted to it very well. And they didn't want anything to do with uh, Mao's world, as they called it back then. Everybody's weighing gray. And if you remember when Nixon was going to Beijing, everybody there looked the same. You could just cookie cutter stamp out these people left and right. Because what they had done is they had lost their identity as the Chinese people. And although thousands, folks, not hundreds, but thousands of years were just kicked by the wayside. Remember the Chinese wall can be seen by space. That was a major accomplishment of that regime way back when. The Terragata troops, if you remember the Terracotta troops, if you ever seen those images, that is mind-boggling because each and every one of those standing and sitting Terracotta figures were different. The heads, the faces, were of the people who lived there during that time. Fast forward a few thousand years, and here we are right now. Our main supplier of all our consumer goods is the East, Far East, Thailand, Singapore, Taiwan, Japan, South Korea, and China. Just to name a few, there's more, but Philippines, you know. Now, if you've ever seen a map of the world, and I hope you have, for crying out loud, because if you haven't, grab one. And look at the South China Sea and all the nations that are around that area. The Spratly Islands <clears throat> were being built up. It's basically coral reefs that the Chinese had started <clears throat> bringing in <clears throat> and building up islands. Now they put these air bases on it, buildings, and started to put weapon systems on them. The United States Navy, through freedom of travel, transit, was uh, going within 12 miles of those areas because international waters says, the law says you can go 12 miles unless you go to the UN and make your 212 miles like the United States. Well, that became a stickler because now the Philippines were saying, hey, look, you, you're, you're infringing on our territory. Japan says, hey, look, you know, you're infringing on our territory. Vietnam, well, they're communist anyway so it really didn't matter for them but they were kind of going wait a second you know you're you're fishing in our waters that's our people's sustenance and here we are with a seven fleet tooling around out there mostly in the Indian Ocean because that's where the hot spot is right now Iraq and Iran and I tell you folks I trained with some Iranian sailors and these are the nicest people you'd ever want to meet but when the Ayatollah got in there and 
changed everything around from when the Shaw was there. Of course, he wasn't the best guy on the planet, trust me. They were uh, now our enemy. And, of course, the last administration before the current one that uh, is no longer with us, who may run again, uh, he gave him a, a, an airplane full of cash. And it was sequestered during the Iranian hostage crisis. That's where that money was, folks. That was from when the United States went into the banks and said, listen, that's Iranian money. We're going to grab it. We're going to put it away. And you now that money didn't go anywhere. It just had to earn collected interest. $89 billion worth? <sighs> folks, this guy's going to get us into another shooting war. And the Germans are not going to be very happy when they're the ones that get drug into it because it's much worse going to have to be fought. Now, now the, the Russians do not have a way to get troops from point A to point B in mass quantities. They don't. They, they don't. Trust me, they don't. Unless they come over under tourist visas and sit here and just be able to go home. Now, they could hide all over this country. Canada, Mexico. South America, and just make their way up. They got open borders, folks. You know, <laughs> you'd be amazed at what the border patrol agents are saying is coming across. They're finding abandoned passports from Libya, Iran, Iraq, the Balkans, Eastern Europe, because they don't need them anymore. They got, they did their job. They're fine. Now, that that is a fact. I don't. If you even think about saying that's not true. Google it. Abandoned passports found in Mexico along the U.S.-Mexican border. Their passports are not needed because they come across. They get on their little cell phone and call their comrade, and they got a place to stay. I mean, you get, let's put it this way. If you don't want to be found in this country, you won't be found. If you remember a few years ago out in California, right around Christmas time, these two individuals decided to shoot up the city Christmas party that'll wake you up okay that's was just two people they had enough they, they and the thing was the neighbors were suspicious of the activities going on in that garage and one lady called up and said hey you know what I'm thinking about this now of course you know damage had been done and lives have been lost I just want to ask you folks out there to do me one favor contact two people and let them contact two people to start the effort of making our citizenry prepared. Because at any point in time, this cell phone that I'm using to record this could be turned off at the source. The internet could be cut off. The cell towers could be switched off. And all I see next here is a civil defense of a, of a federal government symbol saying, you know, we are in control. God bless America. God bless you all. And remember, folks, it can happen from the north, it can happen from the south, it can happen from the east, or come from the west. Always be prepared, and if you've enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. And don't forget to hit that notification bell, or I'll be out there waiting for you to come to me. Admiral Preparedness, God bless you all.